time for that uh, futile exercise that we do in trying to predict with the top five. I mean, the first couple of weeks we did our box office predictions, by the way, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. I was nailing it. I was crushing it, but I am over. Like in the last three <laughs> weeks, I have whiffed every single one. So what? here's what we're going to do. The three of us here at the table, we are going to try to come up and try to guess what come Monday morning are going to be the top five in order, the top five films at the box office on Monday. Uh, I'm going to botch this completely, so I might as well lead this thing off. Coming in number one will be the Transporter Refueled. I believe it has enough of a buzz going right now that it can get $10 million at the box office, and I believe $10 million at the box office is going to be enough to make it the number one film. I think number two is going to be The Visit. Um, look, wait, wait, did the visit come out this weekend? Uh, I think it's, does it not come out this weekend? Wait, wait a second. Oh no, it's not coming out this weekend. You just had me I looked scared. It up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Where's your review? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your review? We got to write your review. Some interviews. And I'm like, oh my God, I screwed this up bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought, thank you for correcting me. Okay. So then it's, it's still staying at number one is going to be the transporter. At number two, then I'm going to go for straight out of Compton. I think it's going to be number two. I think War Room, which none of us saw coming. I think it's going to hold strong at number three. I think at number four is going to be Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. And coming in number five, if it is opening this weekend, as I think it is, the perfect guy is opening this weekend. Yes, I don't know. I don't. I, I'll be honest with you, I don't think so. I can look it up for you. Yeah, look up. But I'm going to say the perfect. And if not the perfect guy, then I'm going to take a really big stab in the dark here and guess that but the I man be, from Uncle oh, will jump up into number five. I could be wrong though. September uh, 11th. Okay, so then I'm going to go. Man from Uncle is going to jump up into the number five spot. Anyway, Steve, what about you? I'm going to tell you right now. I have absolutely no idea what's going to win this box office weekend. I am almost. I'm going to. The only thing I'm going to be sure of is Transporter will not be number one. Hmm. I'm going to say that Compton some, finds a way to be. So what do we got? We got Compton. I'm going to say that's number one. I have absolutely no idea. I'm terrible at this. Uh, Compton. What was number two last weekend? Uh, War Room? War, War Room, Room was yeah. number two. And and last week in Mission Impossible. Was, you know, it's actually shocking that another big release is not coming out this weekend. I know. It's crazy. This this would because, have been a ripe weekend to drop a big film. Because it doesn't make sense that August was so crowded, and this weekend there's nothing but Transporter. Yeah. So it does feel a little bit like, what? And especially because football doesn't start for another week. I know. So yeah. this is a And for guys like us, that's a big deal. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, if... Free anyway. Brady, by the way. No, no, keep him in <laughs> right. Keep him in jail. Let's, let's not <laughs> go. No, no Buffalo. I'm, I'm going to say, though, that, that it's going to be like last weekend where Compton, uh, War, War Room, Room, Mission Impossible. I'm going to say it's the exact as last weekend. Uh, no, no. Uh, Compton, Transporter, War, War Room, Mission Impossible. I'm doing top. David, four. what about you? Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm with Stevie. I, I think Compton. I think. I think Compton Transporter War Room, and Mission Impossible, and the Man from Uncle. Okay, so now Compton, I think made 11 million last weekend. I think so this was close. War Room was close too. Yeah, almost 11, like, yeah, like almost 11 million yeah. as well. So you got to assume it's probably going to drop to about seven, right. maybe seven, eight. It's probably going to take a, at least a 30 or 40 percent drop. Yeah, problem. So we're saying so you guys are thinking Transporter does not crack eight or nine million this weekend. I'm gonna say it's between eight and ten million for Transporter, but that again, I'm terrible at box office. So apparently, so am I. I thought I was good <laughs> at it, but apparently, I'm terrible at it. I just don't think it's gonna be a good weekend at the box office because there's nothing that's saying to people you have to come to the movies right. this weekend. The Transporter, as much as I want to support the film, is not a oh my god, I have to go see this. You keep forgetting it's Labor Day weekend, yeah, the holiday weekend. You think they would have put something you, out? This would have been a great but opportunity. The, but the other thing is, a lot of people like to travel, and yeah. you know, maybe they're avoiding. But anyway, the point is, I think this is going to be a weak weekend at the box office, and it's going to get a lot better in September, especially uh, with all the movies coming out. Right. Like, mm -hmm. and I, by the way, I heard the visits really good. I'm hearing good things about the visit. Like I'm hoping. I no, want to no, cheer for M Night. M Night's return to form. That's what everyone is telling me. He's who's back. Seen it. Yes. All right. Perfect.